the K-10, we're going to say goodbye to these 30s. And say hello to these new 33s. Dad said we could. I'm Jim. I'm Henry. And today, as you can tell by my dirty clothes, we're working on my K-10. If you remember a few videos ago, I brought home a 1976 GMC K-20 and tore it down for its drive train, so its axle, transmission, and transfer case. And as you can probably tell by the axle and the springs, um, we're putting in new axles. So one of the things we're trying to keep track of is how much stuff that we take out and put in weighs. So then, because you can't really trust the internet because everybody's parts are different. We're trying to keep track so then we know how much heavier or how much lighter this truck turns out to be. Looks like a final weight of 246 pounds. Wait, really? Yes. Let me come look at this. Okay. So the wheels that are coming off this truck are 30 inch by 90 by 9.5 by 15s. And obviously that's a lot smaller than those. So we're gonna see how much it weighs. She's gonna be so off balance. Final weight is 60 and a half pounds. Okay. So what are you doing here? Taking the bolts off the wheel so we can put the axle on dollies and bring it out this way and slide it under because my tires are too big for the jack because the jack can't go yeah, high enough. We don't have a lift so we can't get the truck high enough to just roll them under so we got to go in sideways. Yep. So now we're going to see how much the new tires weigh. These tires are 285 by 70 by 17s from Treadhead Wright and they're the Mudward series. Um, they look pretty grippy and I hope they do well. Uh, as for the wheels, they're on the 17 inch H2 wheels. Uh, they're, they're pretty beat up, still work fine, but this is probably the last time we're gonna be able to use them. Um, they were cheap and I'm 14. So obviously I don't have much money. So this is what we're gonna be using. I know how much does it say this weighs? 99, 98 pounds, 99. This is a tread right tire. And you might be like, what's a tread right tire? Well, tread right tires are, well, reused tires, but they put new rubber on them, new whatever, Side sidewalls, ball. and new tread. And so they're basically new tires. And dad has been using these on his trucks for about 15 years. So he was very comfortable with Jim buying one for his new truck. Yep. Um, if you want to see us put better tires and wheels on trucks and just our vehicles in general, like, subscribe, and comment. On YouTube, not yeah. Facebook. Yeah. I'm weighing the 14 volt rear end that's going in my truck. The previous one was 248, and we find it hard to believe that this will be twice as much. 390. Almost 400 pounds. That is double. It's not. Not quite double. No. That's a lot more beef. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, it's under. Let's get the bottle jack and lift it up so we can put the wheels on. And should we should I attach the shock? Not now. This is what we got done tonight. We have the back axle sitting on the truck's weight, no jack. It's looking nice. It's not entirely in position yet, but we think that once we get the usual usual U bolts, sorry, once we get the U bolts in, it'll tighten down and it'll just squish it right up in. Or we'll just clean the rust off the pins. But we're missing some bolts and all the stores we went to have to order them. So we're gonna call tonight, go home, get dinner, and tomorrow we're gonna tack the front end. And then that that's gonna be the hardest. May not because it has the engine sitting yeah, on it. Yeah, it's got the engine in it. It's, it's, so it can it's, be a, a lot. It's a bunch of stuff to connect, and it takes a lot of time, and everything's got to stay in place. That's what makes it hard. But we're going to take time, eat dinner, come back tomorrow. The next day. So since we don't have a lift, what we're doing is we're holding the truck up on wood blocks and jack stands. And the way we're doing this is we're lifting the truck up, and then we're lowering the suspension down, taking out the axle, and then putting the new axle back in.
half ton front axle out. Three quarter tons almost ready to go in, but as we're doing with everything else, we're gonna weigh the half ton front axle. All right, you're clear. Oh. Go stand on the back. Okay. Go stand on the back. Just hop up and stand on it. You stay there. Okay. <laughs> Did you get that on video? Yes. <laughs> Final weight is going to be... 345 pounds. With some seesawing. Yes. <laughs> That's heavier than I thought the front axle would be. Yeah. Okay, stay back there while you lower it then. Yeah. So this is the Dana 44 three quarter ton axle that's going in the front of the truck. As we learned from last time, I'm now standing on the crane as I jack it up. We also moved the boom back in. Up and... 380 pounds. That's a lot. With the tires, that's yep. almost 600. And that's what the tractor carried in here. Yep. So, depending on the wheels you get, moving up to that tire size, I mean, steel wheels would be heavier. You could easily double the weight of your axle and wheels by doing a swap like this. Easily. Look at all the crap that dumped The good thing is that's weight riding below the suspension, not above the suspension. Which means that it'll have a lower center of gravity and therefore better driving core. And you've got more traction when you need it. It's kind of like putting a ballast weight in your tractor tires, like gotcha. beet juice or antifreeze or whatever. Okay. Okay, let's get this thing under there. Ready? Yep. Got it done. Not done. Um, it's sitting on our springs and on our axles. Nothing is hooked up. We've got Bluetooth drive shafts, very fancy. Brakes, parking brakes, nothing like that is hooked up yet. Um, already we can see some concerns with the bigger tire sizes. For instance, up front, um, it, it may be a bit too wide, so we may be rubbing on some springs, but to do that, we might just have to get deeper dish wheels, which I kind of wanted to do anyway. In the rear, um, as you can very clearly see, the exhaust is an issue. Yeah, that old man farmer style exhaust right there ain't gonna cut it. Yeah, so we're probably gonna have to shorten that and or build a different one. I've got some ideas. I think you're really gonna like them. I think you should shorten it and put it out in sport truck style. That right would there. be really cool. I've thought about it. Um, other than that, impressions, I really like it. Uh, it's definitely higher. Best way I can tell is clearance and the bed. It's really hard to reach in now. Um, other than that, we gotta get, we gotta finish up here. Um, we're gonna go fix my dad's trailer because we found another parts truck. This may be the best one yet. Um, Square body number three. Um, place. So we gotta make room for that. Um, this is just hooking stuff up now. Um, this square body, the, the third one is probably one of the best ones it did. But we gotta finish up because we gotta go fix the trailer. Thanks for watching. Dad said we could.